Softlax Bros. Um, it's supposed to be here, or as you might know me, Mandy, whichever. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick little video tutorial here, and I might do a couple more in the future depending on how this uh, pans out. And um, what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today is how to dun, 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 put a hopefully football visor in your CPX. And as you can see, it's got a very nice tint. Um, so I'm only doing this because uh, we got the bump and grind tournament going on playing with Miami there, um, and I can't drink tonight, so even though I'm all dressed up, I'm going to resist the urge and do this tutorial instead, so um, let's go on with that. Alright, so this might look really familiar because my avatar looks something like this, or maybe like this. Anyway. Um, so, to break down um, how this actually goes, let me fix my flow first. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is have a Oakley visor. So, um, for this instant, I don't have my box anymore because I threw out this visor 9,000 years ago. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and show you how to put it back in. Obviously, you might want to know where to get these visors because um, obviously, you don't go to your local lax shop and, you know, like, oh bro, I need some visors for me and my, my lax bro so we could have a session and look cool and attract all the babes and whatever. So, um, like I was saying, um, you can go to Sports Authority, you can go Dicks. I like Dicks, just I like saying the name. Go to Dicks and get some visors. Um, or you could go to your local sports store that isn't either of those places or a football place. Or, you know, there's also eBay or the Oakley store online. Uh, any of those places will work. Um, I wouldn't try like Cross Unlimited or someplace like that. They'll probably just look at you like you're stupid. And later, you can walk in there with your helmet and your fucking visor on. I'm gonna have to edit that word now. Um, and you'll just be like, oh, look at you. I'm so cool. Look at my show visor. What you gonna do? You gonna throw them down or spin dodge around you? Get some heads and the shaft. Oh, okay. Um, so you got the point there. Um, so yeah, have fun with your visor. Um, it'll be a head turner in practice, and hopefully it'll be good. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to be. I mean, I'm not. I'm horrible. I, I play goal. Whatever. You know, I like to see the ball come to me. High def. High def will be fine. Alright, so, um, to start this, there's a box that you get. I don't have it, like I said. Um, so, it's pretty much three basic pieces. You get your visor. La la. Um, and as you can see, mine's really dirty because I haven't cleaned it or anything. You might want to do that, otherwise it's going to get all distractifying uh, or something. Anyway, so um, as you can see, it has these little holes in here. Save those for later. Next, you have these two little clips. When you get it, you're going to have two different kinds of these clips. These are the narrower ones. Let's see if we could. They're narrower. There's uh, another set that's going to come that's bigger, that's if you actually want to put on a football helmet, but who plays that faggot sport. Um, and of course you have screws, and this is how the visor attaches. So first step, very easy, take your CPX. I might do this with a Pro 7 later so we could uh, show you how that works too. So, got your CPX, it doesn't have to be pink, personal preference. And what you're going to want to do is, you're going to take these little clips, and you're going to put them right by this little... I don't know how to describe this. It's like the only L shape kind of bar on the whole helmet. So, that area right there. And you want to put them so they're kind of facing backwards. By backwards, I mean the angle. Like, kind of leans back. It's like if these things had tilt, they'd be tilted. Just like this helmet. So, you kind of just push it right into the slot. I'm going to put this down for a sec because it's kind of tricky. You just squeeze it in. So, full force. Okay. And it goes like that. Trying to make this as visible as possible. Probably help if I have like nine cameras, only got one. So, um, you can see it goes in like that. And we do it for the other side. Very simple. I kind of broke my wrist in practice today. I'm not going to say I broke it. I didn't fracture it, it just hurts. I try not to be a puss about it, but whatever. Alright, so after you have these two little thingies in here on those little L brackets. The next thing is very simple, you shove the visor up the helmet. So, take your visor, grab your helmet, 
with an upside down. And you want this little tab, the center tab. And um, if you're going to put this on a Pro 7, basically all you really need to do is take this tab and get like a Dremel tool, hacksaw, scissors, whatever. Cut this across and it fits. Very simple. Um, I haven't gotten around to doing that, but maybe I will because uh, we got a Team Pro Athletics stickhead, whatever. I mean, they're rocking the Halo outfits, and they got these guys, so... I don't know, I don't want to be too much of a poser, so... Let me just shove this in here, as you can see. Shoving it face down. And you push it all the way up until it hits the visor. And your little Oakley things are going to be... What's going to stop you from going all the way there, so... As you can see, you have your little Oakley O's, and they kind of, like, go up over the visor, and they go... You see the little shell? You can see, like, the peak of the color of the shell? That's where it actually fastens to. So after you got those in, all you have to do is pull the visor forward a little, and there's some little holes. Again, I'm going to see if I can get this in the camera for you. Okay, wrong way. So there, you take the little holes that kind of protrude out of the visor, and you just get them into the little plastic brackets we attach. So this kind of takes a little bit of effort too. So um, let's go cram it in there, and I get the other one. See, the first one's easy, it's the second one. Get stubborn. So, putting it in. Probably need a time lapse for this or something. So, you shove it up and you get it into the other hole. Alright, so now it's in both holes. So, for the second hole, it's kind of tricky to keep it in there. So, uh, I like to go ahead and just you know, get my screw and screw it in. So, very simple again. Screwdriver always helps. And we screw it in. Thing. Okay, so we screw it in, and blah, 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 blah. this is a very long screw apparently, very, very long. If you have a power screwdriver and you need it screwed in immediately to help. Alright, so we screw that in, that one's done. Now we go, we do the same thing for the other side. metal here like I normally would but it's not tasteful apparently what you gonna do Andrew's gonna hate all right so finally got this done okay you're good to go now you can go out throw on your lid you know full tilt you know what I'm saying maybe you don't want a goalie throat guard because you're not a goalie but I mean it's always cool to be a goalie I'm obviously you like eating on my chin strap right now but um yeah so that's really all there is to it um there might be complaints. I've heard people saying that their uh, their nose hits it. If you do this right, it shouldn't hit your nose. I'm a funny. Rig. I could like shove two hands in front of my face. Still got my tilt. Should fit fine. Um. Other than that, yeah, I, I would recommend cleaning it every now and then. Cause after some games, it just gets gross. Mine's. It looks like I hit a bunch of bugs going 90 on the freeway. But um, so yeah, you might want to take care of that. But this is pretty much all you have to do to put a. Uh, Oakley visor on your CPX and like I said, I'm gonna see if I can um, I got a Pro 7 sitting back there. I got my uh, Canes one sitting in my gear bag in my car um, I'm either gonna do a follow-up bid. Gotta fix the flow again. I don't know if I have too much overflow here I was, I was gonna get a haircut, but I was like, no, nah, I need some flow this season being in the cage, but um Like I was saying, yeah so uh, I might do another tutorial showing you how to cut off that little thing and put it on your Pro 7, but like I said earlier, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just cut that center tab and it just shoves right in there. Um, if you guys have any ideas for other tutorials I could do, I'd be happy to. Um, just, you know, whatever you're curious about. I don't know. I don't only have so much swag here to work with in my Miami place, so let me know. Have fun with your advisors and stuff.